Hey guys, welcome back to Veloxi Technologies. In this lecture, we are going to talk about what is monitoring tool, monitoring types, ticketing tool, different monitoring tools are available. To demonstrate this one, I am taking an example that you have joined in a company and you ask to handle a project. In that project, let's take that around 300 servers are running with various applications. Now your TL or team lead or manager asked you to monitor these systems and if you find any abnormal behavior, he asked to resolve it. In case if it is not your activity, then you need to intimate to the respective team. Now as a day to day activity, you have to log into the each system and monitor the behavior of the system. Behavior nothing but you need to check the CPU, memory, disk, network bandwidth, processes, services, users, file system utilizations and lot of things. So practically it is highly impossible to monitor all these things by logging into the each system. Is there any alternative way to do this one? That is where monitoring tool comes into the picture. So monitoring tool helps us to monitor the servers through automation. In case if it is find any abnormal behavior of your system, it intimates to the respective team or system. Let's see how does it work. So what monitoring tool does do? In the environment, you will have one monitoring server which will be communicate with the all your client systems. Client systems nothing but you have around 300 servers, right? With all these 300 servers, it could able to communicate. How does it communicate with these systems? For that, we need to install the monitoring agent on each system. So this monitoring agent going to collect the system information for every one minute, two minutes or five minutes based on how you have configured and that data it is going to shared with the monitoring server. So all the system logs are stored over here, sorry, shared over here. Now this system will able to read these logs and validate whether there is a problem with the any of this system or not. How does it understand whether there is a problem or not? To understand this one, you need to understand how the monitoring system does work. In the monitoring system, we will have a configuration file. So in this configuration file, we will have a threshold values. So threshold values tells us that whether system is performing normally or abnormally. So how the threshold values works? Let's see that. Let's take an example that you want to get a notification when the CPU utilization is greater than 70%. So in case CPU utilization is greater than 70%, you want to get a notification. For that one, you are going to update your configuration in such a way that you will write a rule that, okay, CPU utilization is greater than 70% on any of the system. Okay, intimate that system IP address and when it is happened, that information you need to share with me. That is how the alert will be tracked. Okay, that is how it decided that okay, it is abnormal or normal. It cannot act on the system. I mean to say if it is 70%, it cannot able to help you to reduce. It can only able to tell you that yes, there is a high utilization of the CPU on the specific system. That is how it works. Now, where it is going to trigger this alert? If it is known that okay, it is a high CPU utilization, if it doesn't intimate to anybody, there is no point, right? You cannot come to know. So there is a proper system you need to design in such a way that it should reach to you. So for that one, you need to understand that what do you do in your day to day activities. So whenever you log into your office, if you are doing work from home or if you go to office, first thing most of the people do is email checking. Okay, they will check the emails and also they open the chart. Okay, there will be an instant notification system enabled in the each company like Teams, Okay, Slack channel and few other instant notification systems where if somebody want to ping you directly in, within your office hours, they will reach out to you or they can send you an email. So if this alert reach over here, that would be good, right? You will get notified because you will be monitoring these two systems at any point of time when you are working. All right. Or else along with this, your team lead might ask you to monitor few other applications as well. Among them, one of the application is the ticketing tool. Along with these two, you are also going to monitor ticketing tool if you are a system administrator or cloud administrator, even a DevOps engineer as well. Because for DevOps engineers, there won't be 
not much frequently issues but uh, for other guys there will be a issues okay but for system administrators it could be kind of a mandatory okay now what does it do whenever it receives an alert in our case the cpu utilization is more than 70 percent so whenever it re receives this alert it is going to send a notification over here okay so this alert will be updated over here so you are going to monitor your ticketing tool whenever you receive it you will going to assign it yourself and start working on that one as i said it will have the information of the ip address rls dns rls uh, host name and when the issue has been triggered all this information is there otherwise you have around 300 systems to which system you can check it is difficult right so you must need this information to validate it so whenever you receive this alert to your ticketing tool even you can configure this to your teams or slack channel so that you will get a notification and even you can send it as a email so that it would be easy for you now you have received an email or in your chat box you have received so you can go and solve the issue once you have solved the issue let's take that there could be some process which is consuming the more cpu you have stopped that process now you have your monitoring agent again collect the information right whenever it collects now it is not 70 percent it might come down to 50 percent same information it send it to here and then it is going to send it over here and this alert will get suppressed or else you can close this ticket manually updating that okay issue has been resolved that is how it works now what are the different ticketing tools are available in the market Quite frequently as a DevOps engineer, you might be using Jira, ServiceNow, even BMC Remedy as well. Okay, BMC Remedy or few other ticketing tools. Now, let's understand the monitoring types. There are two types of monitorings you need to observe as a DevOps engineer. That is infrastructure monitoring. Another one is log monitoring. Apart from this, there is a performance monitoring, network monitoring and few other things which we may not need to concentrate. First, let's understand what are the tools are available to monitor infrastructure. Majorly, we are going to use the Prometheus with Grafana. Next, Jabex, Datadog, Nagios, New Relic, Dynatrace, App Dynamics, Site 24 bar 7, CloudWatch, and a few other tools are there. Okay, for infrastructure monitor. Similar way, if you go to the application log monitoring. There is a ELK stack, Splunk, SolarWind log analyzer, Sumo Logic, Logi, and few other things are there. These are the application log or application level monitoring. It will help you to in case any abnormal behavior with your application. I hope this information is helpful. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to our channel to get the latest content on cloud and DevOps. Thank you and see you in the next interesting video.